Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I do crochet tutorials every Tuesday and Friday. If you're not subscribed already, consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that bell notification so you won't miss out in any of my future videos. In today's tutorial, I will show you how I made this infinity scarf. <laughs> Alright, for this project, we're just going to alternate two rows to get that lazy look on our scarf. Oh, this piece is about 32 and a half inches long. This is a pretty long infinity scarf. It goes... You can loop it twice on your neck and it is about 7 inches tall and for this project you will need a Tunisian hook. I am using a 7.0 millimeter Tunisian hook and you will also need scissors a yarn needle a few stitch markers to count your stitches and i'll show you how i use that and measuring tape to measure how your length your length or your width however long or thick you want your scarf and you will also need uh, yarn today i'm using um cranberry from i love this yarn brand so let's get to it all right first we need to make a slip knot okay and we need to chain 24 so let's chain 24 23 and 24 so this chain is the width of your scarf so this is the width of your scarf if you lay it down and you measure it if you want if you want it thicker you can chain more or if you want it thinner you can just take off a few stitches so this is the thickness that i want which is about seven inches and to start the foundation so we are just going to turn our chains and you'll see these bumps on the other side of your chains and that's where we need to work in. so we skip the first bump we go into the second second bump whoops i swear this is the most tedious <laughs> this project so we pull up a loop and into the next bump and we're just gonna pull up a loop through that hole and to the next bump oops there we go and we just keep on doing that all the way down and making sure that our chain is not twisted so into the next bump oops and pull up a loop and just keep on doing that And I will meet you back once I have mine done. Alright, so I've finished putting, going through each of the bumps. And I should still have 24 
loops on my hook. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, and 24. So now we are ready to do the return pass. We're just going to do a normal return pass. So yarn over pull through one and yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two all the way down so over pull through two yarn over pull through two and over pull through two I wanna scooch my stitches up over pull to two okay and over pull to two all the way down All right, this is the foundation row of our piece. So to do the first um, row repeat, we are going to skip the first vertical and we go into the next two. So find the next two vertical bar and yarn over and pull up a loop. All right, and then we yarn over, find the next two vertical bars so go in to the next two, yarn over, pull up a loop, and yarn over. And you just keep on doing this all the way down. Okay. And yarn over, go into the next two. And we bring up a loop and yarn over. So you just repeat that all the way down. Go into the next two. Yarn over. And in the next two, and over, right? And so we did, we need a yarn over here. And if you turn the, your work to the side, you'll see these two loops on the side. You want to insert your hook under those two loops on the side. And bring up a loop. And that is the first row we set up the first row for every setup row well, we should have a total of 24 loops on our hook 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 22 and 24 okay and 
now we're ready to do the return pass so we yarn over pull the one go ahead and switch my stitches up so it's easier glide yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and you just keep doing that all the way down and over pull to two 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 okay And over, pull to two, all the way down. Whoops. And over, pull to two. To two. Pull to two. And that completes our first row. Okay. Now we're ready to do row two. For row two, we are going to skip the first vertical bar. We're gonna go into the next vertical bar and we'll do a simple. And in this space, we're gonna do a full. And you'll see the next vertical bar again. So simple. And into this space. Full. Simple. And then full. So you just keep alternating simple and full all the way down. Simple. And full. Simple. Full. And simple. And full. Simple and full, simple and full, simple, full, simple and full. Pull. and now we're at the end so we turn our piece to the side and you see it's two loops again so you want to go under those two loops and you want to pull up a loop and now we need to have again 24 loops on our hook so if we count 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, and 24. And now we're ready to do the return pass. So we're just going to do a return pass again. So no more return pass. Yarn over pull through 1. And yarn over pull through 2. Yarn over, pull to two, and you just yarn over, pull to two, all the way down.
that's why I'm yanking my yarn here. Okay. And that is the second row done. And we're just gonna keep alternating those two rows. And you'll see you have kind of like a lace going on here. Now we've completed the second row. We're doing the third row. We're back on the first row repeat. So the second for the first row repeat, we're gonna skip the first vertical bar and we're gonna go in to the next two vertical bar, yarn over and pull through those two loops. All right, and yarn over. And now you have the loop that we lost here. So we are decreasing and increasing at the same time. So we'll have an even number of loops. So go again into the next two vertical bar, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over. And into the next two vertical bar, yarn over, pull through two, whoops, okay, and over, pull through two, and then yarn over. So you repeat that all the way down so into the next two vertical bar yarn over pull through two and yarn over okay into the next two yarn over pull through two and yarn over yarn over Into the next two, pull to two, and yarn over. And into the next two, pull to two, and yarn over. Okay, into the next two vertical bars, yarn over, pull to two, and yarn over. Into the next two. Pull to two and yarn over, and now you're at the end again. So slightly turn the work, and you see those two loops on the side. We want to go under those two loops and pull up a loop, and we should have a total of 24. So Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, and twenty-four. We're right on track. And now we're just gonna do a normal return. Normal return pass. So yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two, and then you just repeat that all the way down. Yarn over, pull to two. Whoops. Over, pull to two. And yarn over, pull to two. And over pull to two. And yarn over pull to two. And yarn over pull to the last two. And we just completed that first row repeat again. So we're on to count the stitches or row. So you're gonna turn it to the side and you just count one, two, three. So now we're on that second row. So we're gonna repeat that second row repeat again. So we're gonna repeat what we did 
for the second row again. So we're going to skip the first vertical bar and we go into the next vertical bar and we do a simple and in that space we go through and fall simple and space fall and a vertical bar do a simple and into the space we do a fall and you just do this all the way down so we did a simple fall simple fall simple fall simple fall simple fall simple fall and simple and last one is fall the second row repeat it's always full at the end and we slightly turn our work and you see the two loops on the side and you want to go under those two loops so and we bring up a loop there so again for every setup row setup stitch i mean we should have a total of 24 so 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 22 and 24 and now we are going to do the return pass so go ahead and yarn over pull to one and yarn over pull to two yarn over pull to two and yarn over pull to two all the way down Completes. Let's see which round are we on. One, two, three, four. That completes round four or row four, rather. So you see this pattern going on, a lace pattern. So we're just gonna keep alternating the two row repeat. So I'm gonna show it to you one more time again. All right, we're back on the first row uh, repeat of the pattern. So we're going to skip the first vertical bar and we're going to go into the next two. Sorry, go into the next two vertical bar and yarn over and pull through two. Sorry, and yarn over. This is the round oh this is the row where we decrease and increase so that way we'll keep an even count of the loops. So again into the next two vertical bar yarn over and pull through two and yarn over and into the next two yarn over pull through two and yarn over into the next 
two. Yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over. So you just repeat that all the way down. So in the next two, pull through two, and yarn over. Into the next two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over. In the next two, pull to two, and yarn over. Right? And in the next two, pull to two, and yarn over. Into the next two, pull to two, and yarn over. And into the next two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over. Okay. And into the next two, pull through two, and yarn over. Turn the work. And you see those two loops on the side. We want to go under those two loops. And pull through that two loops. And we should have a total of 24 loops on our hook. So if we count 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, and 24. And now we're going to do a normal return pass. So yarn over, pull through one, and yarn over, pull through two. Whoops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, all the way down. Alright, we just completed that row and now we're back on that our second row repeat which is now for that second row now for that second row repeat again skip the first vertical bar into the next and we'll do a symbol and into the space for a full into the vertical bar for a simple and into the space for a full and into the vertical bar for a simple so you just want to keep alternating simple and full all the way down all the way across your piece so full Simple, a full, and simple, and a full here, and a simple, and a full, and simple, full. Simple and a full and a simple, a full, simple and a full. And now we're at the end. So 
turn your work slightly to the side you'll see those two loops on the side and that's where you need to go under so and the two loops on the side and yarn over and pull through those two loops All right and we should have again 24 loops on our hook so if we count 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, and 24. Now, we're going to do a return pass. So I want to scratch the stitches up and yarn over. Pull through one. Whoops. Back up a little. Yarn over. Pull through two. Yarn over. Pull through two. And yarn over, pull through two all the way, all the way down. Two and over, pull through two. So now we just completed our second row. We're back at the first row we beat now, and you will see your a pattern starting to look that lazy look. So you just keep alternating those two pattern. And for my piece, I did um, I did 204 rows of alternating those two uh, repeat rows that we I just showed you. You just keep repeating, alternating those two rows to your desired length. And for my length, I did a total of 204, 204 rows for... 32 and a half inches. I'll meet you back once you have your desired length and we will close our piece and sew our piece together for an infinity scarf. And I am back with 204 rows. So um, my piece measure out to be 32 and a half inches long when folded in half that's how i want my scarf to be so um now i am ready to finish off the round and i left off with the two row repeat here our number two row so you'll see that there's a full and a simple going on and now I want to go back one more time with the first row repeat which is find the first two and do simple pull up a loop and yarn over and you do this all the way down and we just need to do this one last time and I will show you how to close it. We should have 24 loops on our hook so 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 22 and 24 and we'll do a normal return so
all right now we are ready to close our piece so we are going to do a simple on each vertical bar so normally we just collect all the loops on our hook but we just want to finish it off so and we want to do a full stitch in every space and here we are and do a simple here we are and we do a full here we are and we just do this all the way down go ahead and do a full simple simple and full and into the next vertical bar and we'll do a simple and we'll do a full on the next space simple full next vertical bar we'll do it simple and full oopsies okay simple simple and in that space we do a full okay and simple and our last one here a full and we're gonna turn and go under the two loops on the side here and we'll do whoops we'll do a simple there too oh and now we can cut the yarn here Ken can go ahead and cut the yarn here. Leave about um, 15 inch tail so we could sew the two piece or two ends together. And now at the end, I'm just gonna chain one and pull it all the way. So that way I could make a knot there at the end. The stitch marker here on the side just mark every 50 um row so that way i don't have to count each time at the very bottom so that just helped me count my row so that's why it's there so i'm gonna go ahead and put of that out so we don't need those anymore so, and now we just need to match our two ends together. I just want to go ahead and put it inside out. So the uh, wrong side is facing out or facing me rather. And we need a darty needle. just gonna match 
these two ends together here. I haven't weaved my tail yet, so that is there. And also, I want to make sure that it's my piece is not twisted. So I don't want a twisted scarf. Let me go ahead and match these here. So. That's there. That's there. Okay. So, to match it or to sew it together, we're just going to grab grab the two ends here. Right? And then go into the next one. I'm going to go back to the very first one there and in here go back here okay and you just do this all the way and across the piece across the two ends So I'm grabbing two loops or going under two loops on this side and two loops also on the other side. And I'm also overlapping my stitches here. So I'll go in under the new stitch here and going back to the same one on this side. So that way it is together so go in the new loop and come out to that same loop on the other side I hope that makes sense <laughs> so go under the new stitch come out on that same stitch on this side So that's pretty much how I close my my piece here. So I'll meet you back at the end. I am back here and I am at the last stitch, I think, believe. Oh, I actually did my last. And as you can see, if I left it at that. I will have a kind of like a V here. So I want to go ahead and go into the, the side ones real quick. And we're just going to go into those loops. Whoopsies. What's going on here? There we go and now it's kind of like now we have a straight edge that's that's what i want right and now i could go back um one more time so i want to overlap the last two here so i'll go back a stitch here on both sides Okay, and I'll go back again, and I want to make a loop this time. So, right, insert my hole, insert my needle there, and that will make a loop there. And I'll just weave this in along our seam here so I just go back and forth here okay and cut it here and 
go ahead and weave in your other end as well along this side here this is right and then i'll weave it along the seam here there we go you can go ahead and cut here and now we are done whoops i just wanna cut this yarn over here this is where i run out of yarn i just reattach there and now you'll have the bumpy side and turn it to the right side and you'll see the seam that we did there and now you have a nice nice infinity scarf yeah you could gift it to someone or you could keep it for yourself and this one i think i'm gonna keep it for myself so i hope you in like the tutorial give it thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the bell notification so you won't miss another video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.